Floyd Kid Austin Schofield wins by disqualification in the fifth round. This fight was completely crazy. As you can see, Mr. Isorio, this guy right here resulted into some crazy, crazy, dirty tactics. We seen this in previous fights with Floyd Kid Austin Schofield. He's putting the pressure on these guys and they have no other option but to resort to things like this you know uh today in this instance we seen um sorio this guy kept lifting him up and i i mean i don't know what was going on you know um you've even heard the commentator say these are some wwe tactics that's going on and i i just couldn't believe what i was witnessing you know um but you heard Floyd Schofield say, hey, listen, um, in these situations, this is boxing. This guy got to do what he got to do to survive. So you know what you're going into in these fights. But uh, still, um, these dirty tactics is just not not cool at all. Um, this guy, Sorio, uh, I don't know what the game plan was, but he came out. Um, he was moving. Um, but you seen Kid Austin put the heat on him and he, he caught him a couple of times and every single time it looked like he was about on his way down to the canvas he started trying to clinch him he started trying to lift him up um the referee ended up calling it off a lot of people gonna say it was controversial it was this it was that i see no controversy about this at the end of the day the referee has a job to do you know uh he's got to protect the safety out there this guy, um, his story, um, Sorio, it, it, it's no telling what this guy was going to do out there. You know, uh, so the referees, they had to come in and step in and do something uh, because, I, and then he hit him with the low blow. I mean, that, that was like the finishing touches, you know, of the whole situation. Uh, it's like you can't get no worse than what's going on right now. Um, there's only so much uh, that they could do, but. I, I, at the end of the day, I love what I've seen um, from Kid Austin. I think that this is definitely the start of something special. After a fight like this, is is like who who's next, and we know what that is. As you can see, you've seen William Zapata tonight. Um, that was a um, another great fight, but um, Kid Austin, you know, the big guys is waiting in terms of the Shakur Stevensons and things like that, and. Kid also won't have to deal with a situation like he had to endure today in terms of going out there and having to be lift up over his head every single time. But it is what it is. Um, his story, um, I don't know what's next for him, but he, he fell tonight. Another loss. Like I said, this fight lasted a total of two minutes and seven seconds. You know, um, it, it definitely was a stoppage. Um, you heard Kid Austin call for a stoppage, but I thought it was going to be another way. And everybody knows how he was going to be. It was just going to be devastating the way the fight would have ended if he would have just played it clean. But obviously, he didn't want to go that route. I would like to hear from Mr. Sorio. Um, like the, I love the fight tonight. Like I said, the the Dominican background between both of them, it was just spectacular to see these two in the ring. Um, I'm pretty sure he's got the respect of uh, Sorio now. You know, he, you're not going to – listen, you know what Kid Austin's about. You just got in the ring with him. And it was kind of crazy because uh, Sorio had, had a lot of height on him, you know, and turn over Kid Austin. I felt like he was at times looked like he was towering over him. You seen Kid Austin putting the heat on him, the pressure. Um, it, it was wild to, to say the least. He's really strong, really fast. A lot of people, I even heard the commentator, they 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 own like I said, they're being critical of Kid Austin. They're pretty much saying that every time he's going in, he's loading up. Um, and that's how he pretty much got the cut above his eyes. So if you um did, didn't see in the beginning of the fight early on he got cut um because obviously it was a, an inverted headbutt it wasn't i don't believe the headbutt wasn't dirty um it was just the way kid austin lunged in um but it is what it is at the end of the day thing this kind of stuff happens he, he kept it going and we've seen him suffer this so at the end of the day 
a lot of people want to see Kid Austin in adverse environments, adverse situations. Um, we've seen him get a cut, uh, and, and we've seen how he responded. And today, when it happened, nobody in the arena, you know, second guessed what kind of pressure or what kind of performance he was going to put on because we've seen him go fight under distress, you know, a fight under an adverse situation. And he said he couldn't he couldn't even see out his eye. So so that all of these things are just like I said, spectacular to the train. And shout out to uh Floyd Schofield Jr. Coach Schofield put on an unbelievable show tonight. Uh shout out to Coach Ronnie Shield. Shout out to the cut man. You know, um everybody today was just firing on all cylinders. And that's what resulted into a win like this tonight. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what Oscar, what Bernard cooks up next. But um, definitely, I would love to see a big time headline fight. I could see some big going down on in Texas. Um, but it's definitely time to put Kid Austin in as the headliner. He's headlined before, but it, it's that time now. You know, it's definitely time for the, the Kid Austin takeover to ensue. And um, everybody just going to have to move over. You know, uh, I listen, obviously, Kid Austin's not a finished product, but he's getting there. And when he steps in the ring with some of these opponents that a lot of people feel are this and that, that he's going to shock the world. I think he's poised to do that. Um, just He just got that kind of talent. You know, um, I'm really um, – I'm really surprised that the guy was even able to hang on and his tactics let, let him last as long as it did because I thought that he was out several times, you know. Um, so it is what it is. At least he's able to go home to his family. You know, we don't want to wish now. We we know the sport of boxing. You know, it ain't, it, it ain't nothing to mess with. And it is what it is. So make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. Kid Austin gets the win by DQ. He ends this guy. Um, it, it was nasty, but it is what it is at the end of the day. He guaranteed a stoppage, and we got it. We just may not like how we got it, but sure, we got it. Um, like I said, this is a spectacular night of boxing. He was the co-main event on the Maxie hughes williams Zapata card. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what goes on from here, y'all. It's Flight Sports TV. Kid Austin improves to 17 and 0 with 12 wins, by the way, a knockout. Um, it's, listen, the sky's the limit. Peace and love. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with Flight Sports TV. Follow us on IG. Follow Kid Austin on IG as well. Kid Austin won. Peace and love, man. And congratulations to the champ. I told you the undefeated streak will reign supreme, and it continues. Peace and love.